Okay, so this is our, uh, we're in October now, aren't we? Yep. <coughs> our October update. Uh, Jake got himself a uh, Turbo Daytona that is currently still in need of repair, so it will not run. High speed, A520. This is the way we got it. You know, distributor is taken out, uh, cap sitting there, alternator is dismounted, I'm not sure why. It wasn't a coil, I brought one to try. Um, turns out the uh, intermediate shaft that goes in here and drives the oil pump is stripped out, so it doesn't spin the pump. <coughs> Hopefully that's all it is, and it's not uh, oil starved by much. He says it ran great. He drove it for about two weeks after the guy got it, and uh, he said it just wouldn't start one morning. And, but we paid 300 bucks for it because it's definitely needed some work. It's got some rust. It's got some rotted holes in the doors. But the frame is solid. It's a CS package. It's got snowflakes with good tires. It's got rear disc. We don't know how good the brakes are. We haven't shaken down the front end yet. Basically, haven't gotten through much. Um, as for my Shelby, um, it has bit wind finally to the cancer. I'm going to show here if I can. Let's see. You can see, you can see how jagged this edge looks here. It, uh, this is right where the suspension mounts and then pivots and goes back to the wheel. Well, it broke loose and went backwards a bit. This weekend I'm going to drive it up north and what I'm going to have to do is uh, I'm going to put a ratchet strap from this torsion bar to the torsion bar in front to hold the suspension together. And then we'll part it out next spring. It's been sitting since that happened. Um, let's see. When the hell was it that that happened? It's been sitting at least a month. And, uh, it happened a little longer, uh, it happened a little while ago longer than that. And I put the strap on it, and I was able to move it around, but then I just parked it and stopped driving it. And I've been so busy, I haven't even started this thing. And unfortunately, the depressing thing is it has become storage for my mother-in-law's move-out. Oh, that doesn't sound promising. Oh, that's, that is a doornail. Okay. A click and a buzz. So we're going to need to jump the beast. We'll use the uh, mighty Plymouth Acclaim to give her a jump. You want to go ahead and open up the hood on that and I'll swing the Acclaim around? Yeah. This thing is in need of, need of a little bit of work still. I got it from a, from a really awesome friend. I'm going to let the pump prime up. go. So we'll just spin this beast around here. life support, huh? Oh, keys. Like a lot of dodges. Just pop right out. A little bit of 
fuel in the line. We'll give her one pump. And just like that. Don't even have to have the high idle on yet. Power, that's all. There you go. Too much four cylinder power, yeah. Yeah. It's a beast. Just gotta pull the lens back out. <laughs> Got these nice NGK wires from Napa. They, they, they're listed in the computer, but the people will never tell you about it unless if you ask them to look for the ATM wires. Because they're further down in the list and they never look at them. <laughs>